Today on Stupid Fast RC, we're taking a very close look inside a reasonably priced RC boat. Here you go. Ah, look at that. Wow, job done really. Okay, see you next time. Hi, I'm Tom from Stupid Fast RC, and today we are hydroplaning a boat across water. Oh no, boats are actually meant to go across water. Well, today we are unboxing a Tiger Shark from Gearbest. It's a sensibly priced boat. It's 45 centimeters long. It goes 24 k's an hour, but if you put a light boat on it, it can go 29, hopefully. And now I'm gonna unbox it. Now a safety feature in all these little boats is a two metal points that stop you from running the engine uh, without connecting, making a circuit between the shaft and that little bot, dot in the bottom of the boat. That means that the propeller won't run unless you short it out like this. We wanted to actually run it to make sure it was going before we took it down the lake, bit of a drive, so we don't want to do that. Um, but good little safety feature and, and a lot of boats have this. You go like full throttle and nothing happens. Um, I, I reckon when this thing goes out of the water, it's going to be really fun to play with. It also comes out with this little stand in a packet, and it took me like 10 seconds to build it. But it's really fun to make it. So now what? Okay, let's hit the water. <laughs> Well, it definitely floats, so now it must be time to play battle boats. Mm-hmm.
The boat was really good. It went pretty fast. It has really long battery life. When we got it, I thought it belonged in the bathtub, but it actually doesn't. And I reckon that if you've got a big open space, like a lake near you, you should drive it in there because a bathtub definitely just won't work. See you next time on Stupid Fast RC.